Sarah Bright Dot, Fly Fishing Guide Service. I've been teaching, guiding, writing, and lecturing on fly fishing since 1982. Well, let's get to this week's fly fishing report. Well, once every three years, I get to pull my rain jacket out of my bag and actually get to use it. Well, didn't actually use it. I got soaked, but it was raining hard enough to actually pull it out and use my rain jacket. But we're supposed to have rain the rest of the week, up and on. It really just depends on where you're at. Okay, let's get to the fishing report. Up Rowan's River, it's been kind of tough. Got a big fish the other day, but for the most part, we're catching pan-sized fish, mostly nymphing, but there's been a trike on a caddis hatch, but the smaller fish are coming up and rising. Well, let's go over to Hot Creek. Same thing. Mornings have been good. Trico hatch in the morning's awesome. Female trico's first thing, then a great spinnerfall. We're imitating that, and then it kind of peters out and fishing's over by about me. All right, let's go over to Crawley real quick. Water's really warm, but the rain's been cooling it off, so guys are back out fishing uh, because the water temperatures are cooled off, and they're fishing in 20 to 30 water, feet of water, and they're getting the same old midge patterns, but they're catching some really nice big fish there. All right, down the hill to the Lower Owens River. It's down to 200 CFS, and it's warming up by midday. Even with the rain, it hasn't really helped cool it off, so we're off of there by about noon, and it's basically a nymphing affair first thing in the morning, and I'm primarily fishing my Euro rig in there. I'm using hare's ears, stoner nymphs, green gold prince nymphs, and we're catching a fair number of fish first thing in the morning, seven to about nine or 11, and we get out of there because it's too hot. Bishop Creek Canal, same kind of problem. First thing in the morning is much better. Later in the morning, by 11 or 12, it's just too hot. Water's warming up. We're trying to protect the fish. But same thing, nymphing over there, hare's ears, pheasant tails, and occasionally stuff on the surface, particularly if I'm using a dry and dropper. Well, that's this week's Fly Fishing Report, brought to you by Fred Rowe from Sarah Bright Dot. I can be found on Instagram and Facebook or on my webpage at sierrabrightdot.com.